The effort to get reparations for the atrocities of the slave trade has intensified over the last few years. But some have argued there is no need for colonizing countries to repay the debts owed to black people. Well, Dr. Murray, who is the director of the Center for Hybrid Studies, says shelving the discussion is one's acceptance of slavery and the slave trade. If we do that, then we say to humanity that it is okay to enslave people, keep them as property, sell their children. That is okay as long as in the end you stop at some point, you keep all the gains that you had, that you got, and you don't pay, um, you don't, you're not punished, you don't apologize, and you don't, um, you don't repay. Dr. Murray says those critical of the time it is taking for the reparations to be repaid should understand it will be a long process. We should be prepared, however, that if it takes 300 years, the same time it took to take what belonged to us, um, and to rape our children, our wives, um, kill husbands, uh, and work them to death. Um, if it takes 300 years for us to reclaim that, if it means that we have to become powerful enough, that when we ask for what was taken from us, people have no choice but to give it to us, then we are prepared to wait for that. Dr. Murray is a former director of the Pan-African Commission and he was speaking to the media on the sidelines of the walk which snaked through neighborhoods in and around Spitestown. The walk was organized by the St. Peter Parish Independence Committee along with the Spitestown Task Force and other entities to acknowledge and honor Barbadians who fought for the freedoms that are enjoyed today. It ended at the historic Fisherman's Pub where an audience gathered for a ceremony. In an address, MP for St. Peter and Labour Minister Colin Jordan said the story of the island's freedom fighters has to be passed down to the younger generations. We live in a different time and we can be, we, we can have our freedoms and our rights taken from us in different ways. And so emancipation says to all of us that we must continue to be vigilant, we must continue like Cuffy and Tony, right up to Bussa and Nanny Greg, to say to those who would oppress that we can respond. We are able to respond because we continue to remember the struggle of those who have gone before us. Just before reaching Fisherman's Pub, the walk stopped at the Shrine of Cuffy, where Minister Jordan, as well as the 2022 parish ambassadors and others, laid wreaths.